this is a sample of a type of vlogging scenario. Maybe if you're outside somewhere in the woods and you want to use this kind of a vlogging camera. The problem with this is that the microphone's actually facing the opposite side. See, I'm using the LCD screen to take a look at myself as I'm recording this, but the microphone's on the other side. So it's going to pick up more sounds on that side than it is on this side. It's definitely not a dual front and back microphone situation but it's probably an omnidirectional microphone, so you should be uh, okay as long as you're holding it fairly close to you. Next scene, we're gonna, we're gonna try the audio in a few other scenes here. This is of course inside the house. Um, we'll try, as someone asked, if I could do a city type of outdoor scenario. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that out and uh, we'll try to record um, maybe some other sounds. This is... This is outdoors. You probably might hear a little bit of wind noise. I'm just holding it right in front of me. Obviously a truck. Actually one of the more quiet um, garbage trucks because it runs completely on natural fuel. So this is a nice view of the water t of the local water tower, and I'm going to switch to photo mode. You can take a look to see what the photos look like. This is what it looks like when I am just using outdoors. It's a little bit of a breeze. I want to say it's like a couple, maybe three mile per hour breeze facing directly into the uh, the unit. Now, since I'm facing this way, there are two little microphones that are, um, you know, the back facing microphone. So it's not going to sound all that great if you're capturing yourself with the selfie camera and recording a video. This is the back facing camera. So uh, the microphone is directly facing me on the main or the biggest lens and sensor combination. That's the one that is not on the same side as the uh, actual screen. So uh, the quality here should be pretty decent, uh, especially compared to the front facing. All right, just showing you how the strap works. Uh, basically, there's this Velcro that uh, just basically goes around a backpack strap. And the idea is you just strap that where you want on the backpack. This is my first time. This is my first time doing it. So now it is pretty much strapped. And I just basically put the unit on there in order to record uh, time lapse type footage um, when you put it in a cradle. There's a magnet in here somewhere which I haven't quite figured out yet or I haven't tested to see where it is. And once you put it on there, it put it allows you to use it in certain modes, primarily time lapse photo or time lapse video type modes, where it takes predetermined shots. I think the auto quality is actually really good, uh, especially since this is more of an action camera. And usually, when you have an action camera, the, the the audio quality isn't great. So this one has, of course, the microphone uh, holes right in the front, but when I'm holding it this close, it doesn't really matter since it's an omnidirectional uh, type of microphone. What I do take issue with is I don't think that the video quality is up to snuff. Uh, easily, my smartphones from two to three years ago, uh, you know, the, the flagship smartphones are actually better overall for video quality. Picture quality is not bad. Uh, I, I want to say that um, they did a pretty good job with it. And for some strange reason, uh, maybe because the the camera that is uh, front facing does not actually have a focus, I don't have to worry about whether or not things are out of focus, whereas the back facing camera, you know, you got to focus beforehand. I find that actually really annoying because when you want to take a picture in a dark environment, by default, it actually sends out a, a bright flash in order to help it focus. And you can't, there's no actual option in firmware to turn that off. So if you're photographing in a dark environment and you want to take a picture, you press the button, it's going to flash a really bright beam that could mess up any candid moments that you want to shoot. Or if you're using an environment where they don't allow flash, that's going to be really annoying.